Yo, what up guys? This morning, by the way, sorry for the, uh, it's been a minute, right, since I made a vlog. I've been focusing on Instagram for the past few weeks, but I'm back at it. So this morning, I've been working on the focus timer, the Pomodoro timer, and one of the things that I added was suggested content. So basically, you know, you wanna focus on some of your goals, you put in the goals, and now you can get suggested content that is like catered toward helping you reach those goals. And the idea is to improve this algorithm over time um, so that it's like a healthy algorithm instead of a sort of toxic one. I'm not gonna name any names. But yeah, so that's what I've been working on. Also, I made it so that you can uh, create custom timer animations from videos. So instead of having the coffee cup, you can upload a video and then that will play over time. But uh, I still need to do some stuff with that. I mean, it's done, but yeah. Okay, so yeah, this vlog, by the way, is edited with Python and N8N. If you watch the part one of this uh, series, that video did pretty well. So I'm gonna do a part two, and this is gonna be part two. All of my vlogs for the past like 10 vlogs or something like that, have been edited with code uh, that I wrote by vibe coding and I control from N8N. Uh, so if you're curious about how that works, you can watch the last video, part one, part one. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be a normal vlog. I'm working on more stuff than just the vlog editor. Uh, so since <laughs> it's like 10:45, I've been coding and making content the whole morning. Uh, I'm going to finally eat breakfast, and I won't talk too much, guys. Let's eat some breakfast and get the day continuing to go.
So it's the next day. So yesterday afternoon, I pretty much made a sponsored reel. Um, and as you can see in the footage, I was able to run the vlog editor while I was making the sponsored reel, which is obviously a good thing about uh, automation is that you can do two things at once. Um, another thing I wanted to mention, so this morning I'm working on the focus timer, right? And I think I mentioned in the last update that uh, there's suggested content and the goal of the suggested content is to get people to come back to the app and it's supposed to be like a healthy uh, content algorithm. So the stuff that you see has to do with your goals, your focus goals. Well, I wanted to see if people were actually using that feature. So this morning I implemented some event logging in the focus timer to make sure that, you know, just see if people are playing the videos or not. Uh, so I implemented logging for uh, the page view on that content page and then also video plays. What else did I do? That's pretty much it for the focus timer. I'm running the vlog editor now while as we speak and hopefully there's enough uh, footage to just uh, publish this vlog. Uh, but if not, I'll just add some B-roll. But yeah, uh, stick around for the next update if there's one. Okay, I just remembered something I wanna say. Okay, obviously subscribe, um, like the video if you liked it, leave any comments. And one thing I wanted to say, just this is like story time. Okay, so I don't have a job right now. I'm just software engineering on my own and making content. And let's see, I've been getting reach outs from Meta to become to be a senior data engineer, which I was a data engineer at Meta before, and then a software engineer at Amazon. It is really hard not to take that, kind of not offer, but it's really hard not to go back to Meta because being an entrepreneur is hard. Like um, all my income comes from content, like sponsored reels and stuff. And I don't know if you guys have heard, but on Instagram and all that, creators don't get as many views as they used to. Like people see more suggested posts than they do um, posts from their followers. And that basically means that all the views are going to like more clickbaity stuff. And um, views, if you look on, if you look at any creator, almost any creator, there's a few that are like doing really, really well. But m for most creators, it's way harder to get views and I'm sure you guys have seen this because creators talk about it a lot, but that just makes it harder to have like a predictable income from content and that kind of thing. So I just wanna share this story with you guys. Like it's really hard, stick it out and not get a job. But I think that I know that this is what I wanna do. I wanna be an entrepreneur and I'm gonna keep going. And I wanna just tell you guys that so hopefully if you're going through something where you are having a hard time doing the hard thing, you know, just don't give up and don't, you know, obviously if it's like the, the right thing to do, just make the best decision for you, but don't not do something just because it's hard and just because you're unsure if it will work out. So that's what I wanted to leave you guys with. That's gonna be it for the vlog actually. Um, I'm pretty sure it should be long enough. So again, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff for the algorithm. The last video did pretty well. So uh, hopefully that means that <laughs> my YouTube is starting to grow, which is, you know, obviously another uh, potential way to make revenue and to keep going. So if you guys really want to support me, watch this video from end to end and put it on like a loop so that my watch time just goes way up and we can hack the algorithm together. I was joking, but yeah. I uh, thank you guys for the support. Um, definitely stay tuned for the next one and uh, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.